Hello there, Keras from Metal Science Technologies here. Going to take you through today a video regarding our neutralization of our well cleaning solution, particularly regarding the white staining that some people do get if they don't correctly remove the well cleaning solution for one, or the neutralizer for that matter. So we've got a few inquiries, particularly always at the trade shows, and just recently had one from Kelly out of Texas. So I'm going to take you through the start to the finish of this whole process. So if we just come down to the our bench here, our test bench, we can actually see on this product here, it's an old piece that we've just had at the back, but there is signs of this white residue that's been left behind. It's you know it's powdery, but it does emanate from where you've cleaned the weld or any solution left behind. We also actually have, now that I was doing this video as well, we do have some, you know, up the back of our test bench, which is just all it is, it's the well cleaning solution that the water has evaporated out of it and it's left its active ingredients behind which you know forms a white powder it does look unsightly and it does come back or does come out either days or weeks after the product's gone out so we'll just run through uh, this piece here i'm going to use uh, for the multiple passes of the different methods and yeah basically show you what how it's why it's happening and how to fix it so Let's just go this. I've just got a 1.2 mil. It's just 2B on both sides. We've just welded the outside and obviously we've got some burn through on the inside, but we have just cleaned it with the, the well, our weld cleaner as well. So it's a nice dry piece at this stage, but for intensive purposes of this, I'm just going to use the brush with the weld cleaning solution. The machine's not on, but it's just going to replicate what happens. So we have the weld that's been cleaned. The solution, the well cleaning solution has been left behind. Now, if you were to just remove that by a paper towel or a cotton cloth, you would remove the bulk of it, say 90, 95%. But as you can see, there is still a film, a very light film left behind. Now, this is fine right now. I mean, it's not fine right now, but it's it hasn't stained in regards to leaving the, the white powder behind. This, this product goes out on site or is left in the workshop until it needs to go out and the water out of the solution dries. This is when you're going to be left with the white staining behind. Okay, So I'll just wash that off and we'll start again. Okay, So just starting again, we'll just again clean the weld down with the weld cleaning solution and the brush. Now, the option is to use a neutralizer, which we do supply. This covers all of our different weld cleaning solutions for all of our machines. Now, this is an acidic solution. This is obviously a basic solution at the other end. And when I spray it onto the workpiece, you'll see it bubble and fizz. Now, that's the, the reaction happening. But what you'll also see is some purple being left behind. Now, why that's bubbling, we know we haven't removed all the acidic residue. Once that bubbling ceases, we know that that, that workpiece is neutral by the neutralizer. And again, you could just wipe it off, knowing that all the acidic residue is gone. The problem with doing this, let's say, is that at, this is at the other end of the scale. It's a base, base solution. But if any of this is left behind and it does get into the crevice, you, you can potentially have the same problem with staining coming back out and you can actually still see there's some slight streak marks of the product because I haven't wiped it down well enough. So again, this is an option to do but it's still not the best option because you could be leaving that white stain behind in days or um, the coming weeks. So I'll just wash that down once more. Okay, so what this is the, the ideal system in removing the well cleaning solution and the neutralizer and leaving a, a dry uh, workpiece that's not going to stain. So we will just again clean it with the well cleaning solution. Now that the neutralizer fizz quite a lot then because there's still a lot of solution left. The best method is to remove the bulk of the well cleaning solution first. There's still going to be the residual well cleaning solution left behind, but when we neutralize this time, there's going to be much less bubbling. You can still see a little bit, but it's chalk and cheese to the just prior to this. Okay, now we just want to remove the neutralizer. Okay, we've still got some thin film of neutralizer left on the surface. 
So if you can see the spray bottle here, this is just water. Now this is going to be a, a hose or a gurney as well, or, or similar. You want to wash the workpiece down, paying particular attention to the internal corner where the solution or the neutralizer could still be hiding. Then we want to dry it with a paper towel. Now, having a cotton rag that you reuse or re-dip in water, again, is, is an issue that you can build up residual neutralizer or, or chemical in that and you know you can be putting it back onto the workpiece so a dry cloth is always a dry paper towel is always the way to go now as you can see it's completely dry there's no staining and we've neutralized the well cleaning solution and we've diluted as much as we can the neutralizer out of any sort of crevice that it may be left that is how you want to finish your stainless steel when using our well cleaner with our solution and be that it may any other competitor one that uses an acidic solution. So there you have it. That's how to finish your stainless steel welds and not have the chance of any staining coming back in a couple of days or weeks. Thank you very much.